I never thought I'd have 10 kids. You know, three pregnancies. You know, how does that happen? <laughs> now I know how it happens, but... <laughs> We were young when we got married, so we were I don't think young. we were kind of young, 23, 24. We never said, hey, let's have kids. By the time we were in our late 20s, I think we realized we couldn't get pregnant without some help. I guess I wasn't producing estrogen, you know, which makes your eggs bigger throughout the month. So then I had to go on a, a little bit of a hormone therapy to make them enlarge. We actually did get pregnant then, and then we found out it was twins, so that was pretty cool. Kevin and Kyle, the first set of twins. That didn't bother me or scare me, so I always knew, oh, twins, yeah, all right, we can handle twins. But I mean, after the first set, you know, we still wanted to have more kids. I definitely wanted to have you a know, girl. Yeah, we wanted to have a girl. Betty and Eric tried again, became pregnant again, and got the same happy news from the doctors. Same thing as the first time, <laughs> twins again. Mm -hmm. A boy named Kieran and a girl, Megan. Mommy! Stop screaming, please. Eric, a police officer, might have been fine with four kids. But Betty. Because I only had one daughter, I wanted to have another daughter, and he said that he thought that, that would be a good thing if we tried for one more. We had one. And again, we knew maybe twins, maybe triplets, you know? And that's what the doctors told the Hayes, triplets. Next, they said quadruplets. And the next week? We go back another week later, and he just looks up from the table and he goes, how do you prepare? How do you, you can't prepare for that. How do you prepare for six kids? Well, I was worried for her. Get bigger with the babies, not be able to do certain things. I could tell it was taking a toll on him. Nah, no, strong like bull. <laughs> In September 2004, Betty walked into the hospital. I wouldn't say walking, it was more like a waddle. She comes waddling in, you're like, oh my goodness, girl, you sit down. By C-section, Betty delivered six beautiful babies. It was quick, two minutes, 47 seconds. There was a crew of about 45 people on board waiting. Each one of them, as soon as they pulled them out, showed it to me real quick, threw in the incubator, <laughs> the incubator, the incubator. Tara, Rachel, Ryan, Connor, Rebecca, and EJ were born two months prematurely. Doctors diagnosed Rebecca with cerebral palsy, and all the babies needed intensive care, but soon stabilized. And when word of the new sex tuplet spread, everyone, it seemed, wanted a peek. Everybody that you could imagine, Tony Danza, Oprah, uh, Martha Stewart, you know, every morning show, the, the, the morning show, show, the Today yeah. Show, every single show that you can imagine. But the Hayes decided Eric would do one big press conference, wearing his what six you hospital you bracelets. Eric, what was it like for you to watch this experience? They just came out, they fixed them out. Boom, gone. I was trying to get pictures and my flash was going. <laughs> They were by me by the time I got a picture. I got the back of the nurse, the, the head of the doctor. So it, it, was, it, was, it was just wonderful. It was really wonderful. It really was. <laughs>